Hi everyone, welcome to The Grace Life. So now in this video today, we have a special collaboration and it's called Here's Your Crown, Women Supporting Women, and that's hosted by Connie's Creative Creations. So now her co-host this month is Six Kids and a Glue Gun. Okay, so I'm going to be linking below um, the host and the co-host channels and their links down below in the description box along with the playlist. So make sure to watch the video, subscribe to our channel, and then head on over to that playlist to see what we created with Women Supporting Women. Okay, so now did you know that clicking that like button for watching the video and even commenting below helps us YouTube creators to grow on YouTube? Remember that all the items that I'm using to create this craft will be listed in the description box below. So let's jump into the video. Now in this video today, I decided to make two tag signs with items that I purchased mostly from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I had cut out previously um, to the shape of the tag this marble contact paper. I think I got that at Michael's. I'm not really sure, but we're going to cover that tag sign with the marble contact paper. And then we're going to be using one of the stickers that I purchased from the Dollar Tree uh, called the main ingredient is love. Wait till you see how this comes out. Now we know that we start out with Mod Podge. Now I don't think this part matters too much. So initially this first layer here, I use the gloss finish, but I don't think it really matters. Um, unless you want the end result to be shiny, you can go ahead and use the matte finish. Now we are trimming this out with a border and I am using the glue gun to glue this down. Now this is the sticker that I purchased at the Dollar Tree that says the main ingredient is love. So sometimes you do have to cut out or around the sticker to get it to place and fit on whatever it is you're placing it on. So that's what I had to do in this particular case. So that's what you see me doing here.
Now once I got the sticker placed exactly the way I wanted it, of course I wanted this to be a shiny finish because we have a marble background, so we, we need to keep everything shiny. <laughs> So of course, midway through or right after I placed the Mod Podge down, I decided to go ahead and scatter some loose gems around the sign. Remember that you have to leave this sign fully dry, okay, before you flip it over to place the hanger on it. So we're pretty much done with this project. Now we're going to move on to tag number two.
Now, yes, I did get a little bit carried away with the embellishing part, but I'm not done yet, guys. So we're going to go ahead and place this um, leaf, this glitter leaf that I had in my stash. We're going to place that on there and finish decorating it. I don't know, guys. <laughs> now we're going to use a bling chain to embellish this. Okay, so here I think I am done and it's looking beautiful. So <laughs> I think it came out nice, guys. I hope you agree. Let's head on over and take a look at it. Okay, so we are here with tag number two. And with this one, we're going to make a little bit different. It's still going to be kind of glam because we're using the black glitter paper. But we're also going to add a mirror to this. And we're going to make it more for like a bedroom or a bathroom. Not sure. But let's jump into the video. So the process of the first tag, we're pretty much repeating for the second one. We have to lay the Mod Podge down before we lay the paper down. The difference is that we will have to go back and uh, glue the mirror down and we will be using a permanent adhesive for that one. So part of this collab is mentioning someone uh, from YouTube who has inspired me so there are so many i have to say there are a lot of women that i would love to mention but i'm only going to mention one in this video so today i want to take a moment and shout out creations by simone i absolutely love her channel i love collabing with this lady she is very creative head on over there you will love her content so i am taking a moment to shout out people who are uh, supporters of my channel and today i'm going to take the time out to shout her there's many and god bless you all but i'm going to shout out simone thank you so much for your support Okay, so now it's time for us to glue that mirror down. Now remember when you're using a permanent adhesive, you need to be in a well-ventilated area. You also need to allow 24 to 48 hours before trying to hang this up anywhere. You don't want to have any accidents. So, uh, and this is with any permanent adhesive, whatever one is your favorite. So just allow it the time to dry before trying to hang this up. Okay, so here I decided to go with the clear gems all the way around that mirror. And I scattered some around. <laughs> I also boarded that up with some silver bling wrap and both of which you can purchase at the Dollar Tree.
Okay, time to place the hanger on it. Remember, we made two different tags that can go in two different areas because they're not matching. So let's head on over to the reveal, guys. Now I do want to take a moment and thank the host and the co-host uh, for this collaboration. Okay, now let's take a look to see how this tag came out. <laughs> 